We continue our reading of Lest We Forget. We have nothing to fear for the future, except as we shall forget the way the Lord has led us and His teaching in our past history. A Daily Devotional by Author George R. Knight Today's reading, December 17 Arriving at Maturity, Part 1 Let us press on to maturity. Hebrews 6, one. Not only do individuals grow and develop, so do churches. We have spent a year examining the birth of Adventism, its childhood as it searched out the Bible doctrines that came to define it as a people, and the adolescent flexing of its muscles as it began to spread around the world. By the 1950s and 1960s, it had reached a level of maturity that all the previous decades had been moving toward. One sign of it was a more genuine internationalization of the denomination than had been seen in the past. In part, that has meant that foreign missionaries from the United States, Europe, Great Britain, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa no longer control the work in the newer fields of Adventist labor. Rather, the Church has developed indigenous leaders in nearly every area of its far-flung mission program. Today, the administration of geographical sectors of Adventism up through the General Conference divisions is indigenous to the regions they lead. That means that Asians direct the work in Asia, Africans in Africa, and Latin Americans in South and Central America. The leader of each world division is also a vice president of the General Conference. Beyond that, individuals from parts of the world that only a few years ago were still dependent on North American leadership now hold some of the most important positions of the General Conference's central administration. That type of internationalization is a far cry from the missionary mentality largely maintained into the 1950s and 1960s. In fact, the very concept of missionary has changed. Whereas a few years ago, being a missionary meant going as a European or North American to some non-Christian or non-Protestant land that might be quite primitive. At the present time, the term implies working in a place other than one's native land. And mission has become a two-way street, with missionaries not only going from America to Africa, but some coming from Africa to serve in the United States. From everywhere to everywhere reflects the current shape of Adventist mission more adequately than does missionary. The church around the world is growing up, and in its maturity our prayer must be that it does not forget where it is going. This concludes our reading today of Lest We Forget.